All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. Getting ready to change the name of the channel to KB32. Just KB32. That's it. thought that was pretty cool. All right. What are we doing here with all these parts and pieces and everything on this table? Well, first of all, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. This is the Odin Works 9mm Super Light Barrel. And this thing came into play. This is the final piece to the puzzle to the ARV build from uh, Palmetto State Armory. This is the lower and this is the upper, and I've already gone ahead and placed the barrel nut assembly onto this guy. And that's what it's going to look like. But I'm going to tell you something. Look at that. Is that not the cat's ass? Now, we got the Double Star Ace skeletonized stock. That's what I run in competition. And we're going to put the Hyper Fire Eclipse trigger on this thing. It's going to be bad to the bone. But what we're talking about in this video is this, the barrel. Now, what I'm planning on doing, uh, I want to go ahead and tell you about this barrel. The reason why I picked out this barrel, and it has to do a lot with what you're seeing over here. Now, traditionally, you have a 16-inch barrel with a muzzle brake on it, and this is the Palmetto State Army. This is like their Gen 2, Gen 1, 9mm pistol caliber carbine. Excellent little performer. It does great. Uh, my good friend Val actually uh, went full auto with it one day, and we had a pre-explosion, and it blew out the uh, upper receiver right there. But the thing still runs. No big deal. This is a really cool item here, but the only problem with it is that it's hefty. Now, the difference between uh, USPSA and, say, 3-gun when you do a pistol caliber carbine, we may be shooting out to 100 yards with this thing. The USPSA match that we're going to be shooting down in Talladega, I don't think so. I think that's all Bay stuff, and my good friend Pops Quest, he called me up the other day and said, hey, you want to shoot that thing? So I was like, yeah. And then he told me about the ARV, which leads me to this whole build. So, uh, another good friend, Manning & Son, sent this guy right here. This is, check that beautiful beast out. This is the JP GMR15 9mm. Now, the cool thing about this, and this is where I first learned about it, is that the actual barrel is only like five and a half inches long. The rest of this is just an aluminum shroud because USPSA, the pistol caliber carbine, you have to shoot with a 16-inch barrel. It can have an integrated muzzle brake. And I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. So with the ARV build, I had the opportunity to kind of do some research, and that's where I came up and found this guy right here. Now let's talk about this. Uh, <laughs> this in itself has a 5-inch barrel. So the barrel is only out to here. And we'll go ahead and scope this thing out, but what I want to do is get the whole thing built because the integrated uh, feed ramp that is on the ARV is hopefully going to work out absolutely perfectly with this guy right there. So what we'll do is I want to make sure that we check all this with the uh, scope. But the, the genius behind this thing is that the barrel is only about this long. The rest of this is a pin and welded aluminum shroud. One pound, one ounce. Okay, <laughs> that's huge. Integrated muzzle brake up here. Really cool, as you can see. Big ass hole right there. I wonder if I can get you guys to see down in the barrel area. Actually, you can see that. Oh, that's awesome. And it comes in different colors, but I saw this thing and they had one in stock at Odin, so I went ahead and ordered it. Uh, this whole thing will fit absolutely perfectly together. I don't want to tighten this up. I'm still waiting for it to uh, set up with the red Loctite. A lot of people are not really pro JP with this system, but I will tell you this when you go into competition level, this is the magnet. This thing marries up in here so nicely. I want you to look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then we can put the barrel nut on here. I can't wait to put this thing up. But the idea was to have a high performance barrel on the ARV build. And you can get these upper receiver sets for like $525. I think it was $540 something delivered. Let me go ahead and put that in there. This is a, uh, the barrel nut that you use, and it'll slip right on there. Let's go ahead and snug that up real quickly. Just snug. I'm not going to set it. But what, else, what I'm also running on top of this is this guy right here. This is also the, uh, the same handguard that's actually on this guy. So I'm a big fan of the JP stuff. But the idea behind it, and i got to find the other piece that's actually sitting around here somewhere. It goes in. Yeah, right. Anyway, this thing will marry up. Looks just like that. And, man, it makes for an absolutely beautiful upper. So 
So as we continue moving down the road here on this, I'm going to go ahead and slowly but surely do reviews on the different parts. People ask me about the Double Star Ace uh, skeletonized stock. I run these on all my competition guns, and this thing is absolutely wonderful. Consistency is the name of the game. One of the things I may consider doing is I'm going to round these off here. I'm going to go ahead and smooth these channels out here in the mag well just to give me a little bit better feeding potential. Now, the cool thing about the AKV ARV mags is this one has the extension on it, which gets me out to 50 rounds. That's the normal 33 round, and there you go. Um, one of the other items running the JP Sonic Capture Spring, this guy protrudes in like this, so we had to remove the, the, uh, the, the weights in the back of the BCG that would allow for this thing to go all the way back up into this guy right here. So anyway, tomorrow we'll have this thing fully operational. I might run out and do some test firing with it. It's really cool. Also, <laughs> going ahead and doing a couple of uh, modifications to this guy. We have a tungsten uh, drive rod in here, and then we've got the tungsten uh, grip weight, which will make recoil on this guy non-existent, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, I wanted to intro this guy right here, the Odin Works Barrel. I've seen some videos on this thing, guys hitting targets without any problems out to 100 yards with it. But the idea is that it's just, it's so light. It's absolutely amazing. With that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are uh, down below. Uh, it's exciting. So the trend is we've got the regular one here. I actually have an ARV, the uh, factory uh, one on the way. And I'm going to hand these off to a couple of guys who I do know shoot some serious competition. And we're going to see which rifle is the baddest. Now, if we can get out there this week, we're going to be doing a video review of this guy. And this is a smooth operating machine. I love it. Let's go to 32. KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.